In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the ShadCN UI card component. This is what the final result will look like. We will display data from an API call using the card components that you see here. If you don't have a React app with the ShadCN UI library already installed, I have a video on my channel that shows you the exact step-by-steps of how to do that. I will also leave a link in the description and in the comments for all of the code that I'm about to show in this tutorial. Switching over to the code, I will now explain how I used the ShadCN card component in the website that I just showed you. For the first step, we need to install the ShadCN card component, which we can easily do by going to their documentation. Click on the card component and then click installation. Copy this command and then paste that command inside our terminal and hit enter. Then we need to install Axios, which is a package that will allow us to easily make API calls. We can install it by typing in the command npm i axios and just hit enter. Now I will explain the code for the website that I demoed earlier. Going over the code, the first thing I did was import the Axios package. Then I imported the use effect and use state react hook. Here I'm importing the ShadCN card component. And for this code, I just copied it from documentation. On line 14 through 18, I just created a very simple interface for our data that we're getting back from the API call. This interface will represent a user and will have attributes such as email, name, and website. Here, I just created a variable called data that will represent the data that we get back from the API call. I created a get data function that will make an API call to this URL that you see here. This will return data about users and I just call my set data function to store the results inside of my data variable. I use a use effect hook to make this get data function when the page initially loads. Scrolling down, I will now explain the code that relates to displaying the ShadCN card component. On line 40, I'm using CSS Grid to display three cards per row. On line 41, I'm just using the map function to iterate through the array of data that we got back from the API call. Starting on line 42 to 56, I got this code from the documentation, so I just copied the code that you see here and then pasted it here. Afterwards, I just replaced the data from the API call to be displayed inside the card component. For example, in the documentation, they had card title inside the card title component, but I just replaced it with user.name, and user.name in this case just represents the user name that we got back from the API call. Going back to the website, if we just look at the console, you can see this is all the data that we're getting back from the API. So the value that we get for name, I'm just displaying it for each of these card components. And below the card title, I'm displaying the user's email. And so if we look back in the console, we can see that this is the user's email. And because that's the email that we're getting back from the API, that is the email that I will show in the card component. That is the end of this ShadCN UI card component tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.